Hi, I'm Catherine Delaney. Thank you for joining me today. It's October 14th, and this is your daily tarot reading. For the first card for today, we have the Seven of Swords, which is all about learning from experiences. This card is speaking to our um, sense of of moving away from like a black and white perspective of a situation um, and actually taking into account what the experience has been like. So you see this figure here and they're, they're separate from the group, right? The group is back here and they're gathering their thoughts and they're making a decision. And the decision here is whether or not to stay and be part of the group or to embark on one's own with what you've gathered. So that is the question of this card and what you want to do and what you've, based on what you've learned from your experiences, what you want to do with that. Um, but there's some uh, mental uh, weighing of sorts of whether or not to stay in participation of a particular project or whether or not to leave. It can also be telling that there could be some character that shows up to today that's not uh, the most honorable in character and they could be sly in nature. Uh, we also have the second card today which is the four of wands. Wands are all about our sense of will and a four in numerology is a sense of stability. So a stabilized will. This card is safety and security and kind of respite after a storm of movement. Um, the energy and message in this card is to know when it's time to rest and when it's time to act. And we need to listen to ourselves to know when it is time to act. But ultimately, it is letting us know that there is safety and security around us. Now, the third card that we have for today is the Sun card. The Sun card is a major arcana card. It's the 19th major arcana, which reduces to a 10, which reduces to a 1. So it is a very, um, it's a card that centers around development of the self. It's the sun card, so it's our essential nature. It's actually the be most beneficial card in the deck. When we consider the sun and what it does out in the world for our plants and for the environment, it helps determine the cycles of nature, when plants sprout and grow, when they flower, when they fruit, and when they seed, along with, of course, other weather elements, but primarily the sun and the amount of light and the amount of warmth shifts things in our entire global, you know, system. And much like the sun does that to our galaxy and our you know, solar system, we, we have this, uh, an inner sun as well inside of us that shines on our environment and shines on the people in our community and the people in our, um, the people that we cross paths with, whether it's people that we cross paths with, if we're going to get a cup of tea or coffee or going to the store to run errands or the people we pass on the road. And we have an exchange with them that is energetic like the sun. Now the message for this card today is, you know, that there is a realization of some sort that can be uh, almost energetic, you know, it's uh, heart-centered. The sun rules Leo. Leo rules the heart and our sense of creativity and passion in life, um, hence that sun energy. So we're getting a sense of that today, and it's it really is shifting things in us. Um, when we look at what's going on astrologically, the sun today is in, I believe, 22, is it 22 or 21 degrees of Libra? So it's actually in a T-square relationship with, um, let's see. Yeah, 21 degrees Libra. So it's in a T-square relationship with both Pluto, which is in 22 degrees. Um, Pluto? Saturn? I think it's Pluto. I'm pretty sure it's Pluto. 
uh, Pluto, yeah, which is in 22 degrees. And then Saturn and Jupiter are on either side of Pluto, so we have some major square energy there. And then we have Mars, which is in retrograde, which is in 20 degrees of uh, Aries. It's in 21 degrees of Aries. So we have these this square energy that's... Um, you know, shifting our perspective and shifting how we feel in the world and how the world is operating overall. Uh, and the sun is, you know, a big, a big part in that. Of course, you know, the sun being in Libra, of course, the sun doesn't actually, you know, move in our solar system. So it's not in that way, but it, it's from our perspective. If when we do tropical astrology we're looking from our perspective so from our perspective the sun is in libra um and 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 the other planets are in their positions that i mentioned earlier so we do have this uh tense energy going on on the global scale in you know how our society works and you know global structure because we have pluto which is this planet of transformation which is in square relationship to Mars, which is, you know, our sense of self and what we want to do in the world and our self of our sense of identity. And, and then we also have, you know, Uranus, which is uh, in Taurus. And that is in opposition right now in direct opposition to Mercury, which just went retrograde. So we're starting to get a, some new sense and new ideas around what we want to do based on what the situation is right now. I think we initially thought it was just like a passing thing. Maybe it would be like a few weeks and then maybe it'd be a few months. And then now we're seeing that there is some long standing uh, changes that are happening to the way that we are able to interact with each other. And ultimately, I just want to remind people that it's not just you know, our powers that be government, government wise, but there's also astrological influences happening right now. Um, we are approaching a new moon tomorrow or, um, tomorrow, no Friday. Um, and that gives us an opportunity to actually take the time to envision what we want the world to look like and what we, uh, wish for the world and I think part of that is anchoring into our sense of gratitude and uh, appreciation for our community and for one another and for our potential and ability to grow and I invite you all to uh, connect with your inner selves and then connect with your higher selves and root down into the earth and send your heart out so that we can start and be part of the shift because it's happening. I send you a good wish today. I send you much love and I do hope that you are staying well and taking good care of yourself. I uh, will see you tomorrow. Take care.